This week, a manufactured controversy erupted around an extraordinary legal scholar who used self-sacrifice as an agenda change of his own. This week, this 22-year-old video surfaced of then-student Barack Obama at a protest rally introducing Harvard Law School professor Derek Bell. Now, Professor Bell spent his career questioning and critiquing the institutional racism that infects America's legal structures. This week, conservative media outlets offered up the video as proof by association that President Obama is adhering to a radical anti-American agenda. Derek Bell died in October of last year, so he's not here to correct the lies circulating about him. Thankfully, he left behind a rich legacy of legal activism and scholarship that speaks for itself. Who is Derek Bell? He, he was a man who possessed the courage of his convictions. In 1959, while working in the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice, Bell was told to let go of his NAACP membership because it posed a conflict of interests. He chose to keep his NAACP membership and let go of the Justice Department instead. Bell led with the same integrity three decades later when confronted with the lack of diversity on the faculty at Harvard Law School, where he was a professor at the time. At the rally shown in the video, after a rousing introduction from Barack Obama, Bell spoke about his decision to sacrifice his salary and take an unpaid leave of absence to protest the school's failure to offer a woman of color a tenure-track position. Now, surely, a man who used his position of privilege and security within the academy to bring attention to issues of diversity affecting people other than himself is worthy at least of a handshake, a pat on the back, or, or this. President Obama's public display of affection and appreciation for a man he so clearly respected and admired. But it's this moment that the president's critics have seized upon as a, as a smoking gun. President Obama tried and convicted in the court of conservative public opinion for the unforgivable offense of hugging a black man. It's starting to feel like the 1940s around here because that was when Eleanor Roosevelt, first lady, was roundly and regularly criticized for the same crime of public proximity to black people. These photos of Eleanor Roosevelt validating by her mere presence the idea of social equality for black Americans led some to call for her to be tried for treason and deported. And now we are asked to see this photo, not as two legal scholars embracing in solidarity against injustice, but as a seditious traitor embracing a radical idea. Seven decades have passed between that moment and this, but so little distance traveled in our assertion that social equality is somehow anti-American. Coming up, 